Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Wednesday afternoon, almost one o'clock. I'm just leaving my place for the first time today. I've spent the morning, of course, doing some day job stuff and some other personal shit. I submitted a bunch of my photos finally to a bunch of contests, just because that's what I should have been doing all along. Right now, we're going to the UPS store because the small rig cage for the A7R4 has been delivered. So I'm gonna go get that. Then I'm gonna run a couple other errands and then go back and do more day job shit. Nothing exciting. It is at least sunny out and 59 degrees. It's not gonna get much warmer than that today. I thought it was supposed to be warmer than that, but I guess not. So about 59, 60 degrees and then tomorrow, or like it actually keeps getting warmer as the day goes by and overnight so that it'll be in the 70s like mid to upper 70s tomorrow but again raining and thunderstormy that takes care of that it'll be a good day to stay inside and fill out forms <laughs> and do some other day job shit. Other than that, there's just nothing exciting going on. I did go to KEH a while ago, and I, I typed in everything that I had and felt that the amounts that they were offering were really low, like hell no low. So I didn't do that. Well, today I'm like, hmm, you know what? I should check more than one place. So I decided to go to MPB, and I typed it in and their figures were much more agreeable. I always know that I could get more if I did private sales, but by doing private sales, I gotta deal with people. The last sale I had was flawless. I mean, it, it all like just out of the blue happened. He paid me immediately. I shipped it immediately. He got it faster than he was supposed to. He was incredibly happy with it and all as well. But shit doesn't always work out like that. So now I'm weighing whether or not I should try to do these private sales. And, and you know, cause now again, I gotta take all the pictures, I gotta create the posts, I gotta put them up there. Then I gotta deal with all the answering the emails and all that kind of stuff. It's a considerable amount of time involved and potential grief. Whereas I got my quota ready from MPB and I can accept it. The difference between what I wanted and what MPB is offering me, there's a difference of about $1,000. In all reality, that's not a true number because number one, MPB is simply getting the cameras and the lenses. That's it. They aren't getting any of the additional shit that I would be giving if I did a private sale. So if you subtract out the cages and you know all the extra shit that I was gonna throw in to try to make the sales more lucrative, then in reality, it brings that thousand dollars down you know, another couple hundred. I don't know, man, I'm starting to really feel like I, I, I'm gonna sell this stuff to MPB, but we'll see. For now, I need to go get my package. Well, that's annoying. I just got a call from the garage door company and they said that the card wasn't going through and he wanted to verify the numbers. And I'm thinking to myself, why the hell are they doing that now? This was how many weeks ago now that they, they did the garage door? So turns out they didn't freaking run it that day. They literally just ran it today. Oh man, talk about inefficient, Jesus. So yeah, okay, I guess I'll go home and bust out the, the cage cause got the cage and I'll make sure that that's all right. As long as I gotta go home again. Okay, so yeah, this sucks. I will likely wet my pants. This is horrible and this was inevitable because the monkey didn't think. I should have thought that this was gonna happen, but I didn't, now I'm paying for it. All right, kids, after an excruciating amount of time being stuck in that traffic, I finally got to the Starbucks, was able to go to the restroom, get our drinks, went to the library, gave my wife her drink, and then I came home and I've been just doing stuff here. One thing that I wanted to show you is the final setup for my a7r4 as you can see i have it with the grip but now i also have it mounted in the small rig cage and i also have the cotton carrier plate and stuff mounted on the bottom so i'm going to sort of give you a workaround here and show you or not a workaround but like i'm going to show you the damn thing so yeah so you know standard stuff on that side you can see it on the top that side and then the bottom and here you can see that I have that cotton carrier plate, which goes across here like so. And then that is the, like the, uh, 
Peak Design Mantis Pod type plate, and then that is the connector for the cotton carrier itself. And then I looped the fail-safe strap into the bottom because I always hold the camera like this and I didn't want it coming from the top part here and hanging down and getting in my way. And this is how they are able to make this fit multiple cameras, is that this has a little screw and it slides to adjust so that it can fit into the little spot there that has a threaded hole to, to put the strap split ring thingies, little triangular split ring that goes in there for you to hang a strap. And then the same thing on this side. It's got one here and you can see the, you know, the little screw and all that kind of stuff. So this is the first time I've ever had a camera uh, cage from Small Rig that uh, I've used on a camera that had a grip. I usually never put a cage on with a grip. I, I've always felt that I didn't need it, but I've come to realize that I do. Now what this will do is instead of the mounting point for any of this stuff, whether I'm putting it on the cotton carrier or a tripod or a grip or any of that kind of shit, it will now take the weight of everything, not the camera. So the cage takes the weight, not the camera. And then, you know, I always have my big ass 200 to 600 lens mounted on this part right here. And, you know, it's, it's basically then when it's hanging on the cotton care, this thing starts to like almost twist. And then I could actually see the gap in between the grip itself, the battery grip and the camera sort of like move. I was very leery of it. I did not want to put that kind of stress on either the lens mount or the camera itself. So now the small rig cage will take the brunt of all that and I'm confident that it will do it well. So that was, that was the purchase that I got today. So that's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember kids, forward and up.